Hello and welcome back and I'm going to continue with the exploration of deep water mathematics and in particular today look at enhancing the equation for the integral. I'll say again that this is a work in progress and as my own thinking changes what you'll see being played out over a few weeks are enhancements to the equations that I had derived earlier. But basically the equation for the integral had four components to it and at the deepest level we had something that we're calling metal level 3 which basically indicates the dynamics of a ubiquitous point that's present everywhere in our system. This ubiquitous point has four powerful characteristics innate in it and one of these characteristics is omniloving. Omniloving is the seed of the family that emerges from it and that gives rise to integrality and that's the equation that we're considering right now. So at metal level 3 and isolating the characteristic of omniloving, the equation that we had derived earlier was such that in any time space continuum from 0 to n and therefore in any practical causal wedge or organizational system there is a, din a dynamic such that the basis of negativity is changed to positivity so we have physical negative, vital negative, mental negative becoming physical positive, vital positive, mental positive and this philosophically indicates the reality of love and we further had indicated that this kind of shift is occurring in such a manner that it's modulated by some polar coordinates R and theta and the reason why I, I am suggesting that it's modulated by these coordinates is because if you think about that then basically over time if we consider the center to be the a basis of negativity and distance from the center to indicate a basis or foundation of positivity so that all kinds of integrations and unifications are happening on a more and more positive basis so we are migrating from negative to positive here then this system is modulated by r and theta where r is a distance from the origin and theta is the angular momentum and it basically is a nice way of indicating that foundation that, that's increasing in positivity and having more and more different kinds of interactions and integrations that are of a nature of positivity. So that's uh, at, at the deepest level and then the question is how does that the dynamics in the ubiquitous point become something that can then architect the construction of organization so we had come up with at meta level 2 a set of characteristics that we characterize by the set of omniloving and <clears throat> this had elements in it such as love, compassion, harmony, relationship and so on and then our hypothesis was that as we approach the layer just behind visible organization there's a layer of essence and we had our hypothesis was that any organization is unique and that essence can be understood at this metal level one and we had an equation for this uniqueness which we're representing by signature to the base i for integrality which is equal to some primary component x with the weight a where, where x is derived from this set of omniloving and some secondary components y with weights b's such that this y and b's may repeat themselves with different y's and b's from 0 to m times and again where x is an element from this primary set of omniloving y can be an element from any of the sets, so the set of omniloving, the set of omnipresence, the set of omnipotence, or the set of omniscience. And A and B are integers such that A is greater than B, 
and therefore x is the primary element and the y's are the secondary elements. So that indicates the uniqueness of an organization. And then at the outer, or I'm going to depict this at the untransformed level, so where we commonly come into interaction, or the first thing that we interact with, there's a set which I call integral untransformed, which has characteristics such as that of possession. So the basis of integration is through possession or through hidden agendas or through personal gain or through usurping and so on. And we'd recognize here that in many of the organizations that we have, the international organizations for instance, uh, or even large uh, national organizations, some of the dynamics that might be leading the integration of smaller organizations into a larger one could very well be determined by characteristics of this nature where you have hidden agendas and the um, dynamics of usurpation and so on. <clears throat> and we had suggested that this, that these four components uh, basically integrate such that metal level 3, 2, and 1 become more active and therefore transform the untransformed layer or the outer layer. And that function that's integral to this equation here is something we call the transformation circle, which in itself is modulated by sine e and pi. And as a reminder, this transformation circle is like a seed. At the deepest level, there's the dynamics of n3 surrounded by m2, surrounded by m1, and then surrounded by the untransformed or outer layer. And we have hypothesized a time behavior of the transformation circle such that initially the outer or untransformed may continue with its initial set, the integral untransformed, but then over time in the right conditions there's an integration with the deeper layers so that ultimately the outer or untransformed layer transforms into something different uh, through the influence of metal level 1, 2, and 3. And if we were to depict, therefore, this action or the conditions by which the dynamics of metal level 1, 2, and 3 can become active in the outer, then what we're really saying is that the dynamics of the untransformed layer continues until such point that we are able to break the patterns of the integral that we see in this set here. And once we're able to break these patterns, then we are able to enter into metal level one and the dynamics of the signature become more active. And then similarly, we continue with the, the dynamics of the signature until such point as the signature itself becomes more of a force, in which case we more consciously activate metal level two. And we continue with metal level two until this force becomes impersonal in which at which point we activate the dynamics of metal level three. So the way that we would integrate this aspect here into this equation is by saying that or depicting that the dynamics of the untransformed layer begins to change and metal level one gets integrated into it when we are able to break the patterns that exist here. Similarly, when we are able to have the signature become a force, then these dynamics at metal level 2 become more active in the untransformed layer. And similarly, when this force approaches impersonality, then metal level 3 becomes more active in the quote-unquote untransformed layer. When this happens, then basically what we're suggesting is that there is a new set that is created. We call that the transformed integral set. And this would have elements 
such as the ability to synthesize, really appreciate the essence of different points of views. So perhaps you can call that essence appreciation. Being able to have or understand the multiple points of views that exist, being able to shift into any point of view or different reality that needs to be integrated into the larger collective, and so on. So what we have here is a very different basis of integration than what we initially had in that untransformed layer. And integrating this aspect into this equation here, basically what we're saying is through the action of the transformation circle, we tend towards this new set integral to the base T. So this here would become the enhanced equation for the integral. And again, practically, uh, one of the corollaries of this equation is that initially when we look at any kind of large organization that comprises or that integrates in smaller organizations, then that initial dynamics of integration would be driven by such untransformed characteristics such as possession or hidden agendas or personal gain and so on. And it's only when these patterns break and the deeper dynamics of the signature of this larger impersonal set and then of the dynamics of the miracle of the ubiquitous point can become much more consciously active in the outer that the basis of integration changes so we come up with this new set where truly the urge for synthesis for understanding and appreciating different points of views um, and uh, be, being driven by the multiple points of view to create something even greater that's that's a conglomeration if you will of all these different points of views can become much more active and the very basis of such large organizations can change <laughs>